Today we'll be speaking with Nicole Houghton from the Jamaica Tourist Board on Venue Jamaica. Hi Nicole, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What is so special about the island Jamaica that would make it so perfect as a destination wedding? Destination Jamaica has a lot to offer when it comes to weddings. You can do it in any of our resort areas. If you want to have a wedding on the beach, I'd recommend Negril on our Seven Mile Strip. If you want to do a wedding in Montego Bay, then I'd recommend maybe on the golf course at White Witch. That's very exciting. Also, if you wanted to do a wedding at like an attraction, I'd recommend probably a Dolphin Cove where you can get married in the water with the dolphins. Or you can do something adventurous, such as Mystic Mountain, by getting married at like 700 feet in the air. Very exciting. And we're also one of the Caribbean destinations that does not require an actual blood test before getting married on island. So many competing destinations. How does Jamaica rank as a venue choice for brides? Jamaica tends to rank quite highly when it comes to weddings and honeymoons. Every year what we tend to do is we actually get a number of nominations and we also win a number of prizes when it comes to weddings and honeymoons. Sandals in particular is a very popular resort chain that tends to win wedding and honeymoon prizes for Jamaica annually. In addition, very recently we were featured in the bridal magazine called Brides where we were selected as one of the top 20 wedding destinations in the world. Can a bride living overseas easily afford a wedding in Jamaica? Most definitely. Weddings in Jamaica can be done on any type of budget. If you want to have a very expensive, lavish type of wedding, we can plan that for you. If you want to have a budget on a string wedding, you can also have that in Jamaica we, because we have a very diverse offering. What are some of the considerations a bride should bear in mind when she's choosing her venue? I think the most important thing would have to be a budget. I think most brides have an idea of what they want and they get very excited and say I want all these fantastic things to happen for their wedding but really and truly it comes down to what you can afford. So I think the most important thing is get your budget in place first then contact your wedding coordinator and then you can move and select the venue that suits you. Of course when it comes to venue you're going to be looking at location, you're also going to be looking at things of catering, you're going to also looking at numbers, how many people are you inviting to your wedding and can that venue, is that venue suitable to accommodate those numbers. Well, Nicole, do you have any personal favorite venues that you could suggest for any of the brides out there looking to plan their wedding? Well, two special venues that are close to my heart have been venues that I've attended for weddings. One, I was um, the maid of honor in my best friend's wedding two years ago, and she did it on the golf course at White Witch in Montego Bay, and it was absolutely awesome. And as well, I had a wonderful opportunity of being a part of another wedding a few weeks ago, and that was in the parish of St. Elizabeth. And that's kind of off the beaten path, you know, it's kind of rustic tourism. It was at a property called Jake's, and that was an awesome experience. So I'd say my two most favorite locations for me personally would be Jake's in St. Elizabeth and White Witch in Montego Bay. And those are only two of the venues that are all over the island. What is so special about Venue Jamaica? I think it has to do with one, our proximity, and two, our beautiful weather and our beautiful island, and as well, the warmth of our people. We'd like to thank Nicole Houghton from Jamaica Tourist Board for giving us all those great tips on Venue Jamaica.